Hi band and welcome to your very first guitar lesson. So if you've just gotten your first guitar or maybe you've had one for a while but only now you decided to pick it up, I'm super excited to have you here. In this video we're gonna go through the very basics of the instrument, how to hold it, what are the, like, the part names and everything, and then make our first sounds out of it. By the way, it does not matter if you have an electric or an acoustic guitar, all the things that we're gonna go through in this video are universal and valid for all guitars. The very first thing we want to have a look at is the instrument itself. This part here, the big one, is called the body of the guitar and it should be sitting comfortably on your right leg if you have a righty guitar. If you have a lefty then it's the other way around and check that whichever way you're holding the guitar that the thickest string is closest to your nose. So right now for instance I need to turn it back. Then out of the body this long part here is the neck of the guitar and at the end of the neck we have the headstock. Attached to the headstock we have the tuning pegs. They might be all on the same side of the guitar, all six or three and three or whatever, but anyway each string of your guitar should have its own tuning peg and the machine head uh, where the string is attached. This white piece right here that is supporting the strings is called a nut and then if we go and have a look at the other end of the strings where the strings are attached at this end, this part here is the bridge. And then there's of course a sound hole over here. Here, along the neck, you see these metal strips that are underneath the strings attached to the wood. These are called frets. And the frets are numbered. The first metal strip and the whole first slot over here between the nut and the first metal strip. This is all fret one. From there on we just keep going. Fret two over here, fret three, fret four, five, six, seven, and so on. To navigate more easily around the fretboard, your guitar should also have these little markings here at the top of the neck. These little dots. And they are marking frets one, three, five, seven, nine and twelve and twelve should have two dots. Next a little bit about how to hold the instrument. So it's already sitting there nicely on your lap which is good and exactly how it should be. Your right hand of course will come kind of over the guitar to be able to reach the strings and the left hand should be pretty free to move around the fretboard. At first I know I know it's very 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 tempting to let the guitar slide just a little bit down on your leg or like somehow tilt it to see the fretboard better. Yeah, it's it's okay to like quickly check something, but try to resist the urge to keep it that way. Uh, you might see better, but what happens with your left hand is that you have to reach further. So you notice that your wrist is gonna be in a steeper angle and that's gonna start hurting after a while. The other reason to not let it slide is that guitar playing is a lot about muscle memory. The goal is actually to get to a point where you don't have to look what you're doing. Like that's what, why also you have the little dots, like the markings here. Next we're gonna start making sounds out of the guitar. So let's start by checking that your instrument is in two. If you've never ever tuned a guitar before and you're wondering how to do it, go check out our video that we made specifically about that. Get your instrument in tune and then come back for the rest of the lesson. Yeah! Now you have your instrument in tune and we're gonna move on to plucking. Let's have a, little, a closer look at that. What I want you to do now is rest your thumb on the thickest string, so the one that's closest to your nose, and then make a sound. What I want you to pay attention to is to avoid plucking away from the guitar like this. What we want to do instead is pluck down so you end up resting on the next string below. So rest, pluck, rest, pluck, rest on the next string below, pluck that one, rest on the next string below, pluck that one, 
and so forth. You can go through all the strings, always land on the next one until you're at the, at the last one, then just pluck down. Also, you can support your hand a bit better. Sometimes I, for instance, um, support my fingers, the rest of the fingers on the guitar body underneath. It gives you a little bit of that extra support. Or then you can rest your wrist on the bridge here. And uh, so you have one anchor point somewhere for your hand. The next challenge is to combine both hands. So what your left hand wants to do, or right hand, if you're a lefty, is to fret down on the strings. It's called fretting. Now that we were just plucking, we were plucking the open strings. So we were not pressing down on any note. But with fretting, what we're gonna do is change the pitch of the string. So if, for instance, this thinnest string right here, when I play it open, it sounds like this. But if I want to change the pitch, I'm gonna fret down on, let's say, fret two. So I'm gonna go, okay, here's fret one, so fret two is right here. And press it down firmly, keep it down, and then rest pluck. So you hear how the note changes. I'll play it open again. Press down. Make sure to press down next to the metal strip. If you let your finger slide towards the previous fret, it will cause some buzzing and the sound is going to be more unclear. And one thing I want you to pay attention to is to keep a natural curve on your finger. So no like funky angles going on there. So that actually you're pressing down kind of on the fingertip and your arm in general, it shouldn't be too tense or too tight. With your middle finger, we're gonna add a note. So we're gonna fret down on fret three next to the index finger. And what you can do is to keep your index finger down there so you don't have to like switch back and forth and always lift the other finger. Instead, you can just keep your index finger there and then just reach out for fret three with your middle finger to add it there. They're supporting each other. Now you can play little melodies with these three notes. was it for today and in the next video we're gonna look at how to play chords but also I recommend you go and download Musician for your phone or tablet it's a great app for continuing to learn how to play the guitar so make sure to do that download Musician and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video